Hey everybody, welcome back to Diva Styles. So I know it looks like a bunch of stuff here, but today we're going to be creating some um, fabric button earrings. I just recently got an order for it. Um, so as you see, these are like really big. These are my personal favorite. These are, you know, smaller, cute studs. Okay, so let me tell you what we got. So you're going to need some type of glue, some type of adhesive. Uh, I got E6000. I also have the um, E6000 jewelry and bead. Not sure which one I'm going to use. Um, you're going to need uh, the little post so that you can turn these into stud earrings. And you can purchase these different um, bead packs from, I think I got these from uh, Hobby Lobby. But I'm pretty sure you can get them at like Joann's, Michael's, uh, any craft store. I'm trying to get it to focus. Okay, there we go. Um, but uh, a couple years ago, I was making beads. I mean, not beads, but button earrings so much to where I invested in uh, like a big book. And I'm going to have the link to this in my description box. Um, now, if you're just doing a few, then I suggest just getting it from Hobby Lobby, your craft store. But if you're like doing a bunch of these, I definitely suggest um, investing in the bulk of them on Amazon. Um, some comes with like a hundred, but I think because these are bigger, I think it was just a set of 50. But yeah, definitely, definitely an investment if you're making a bunch of them. So of course, fabrics. Um, you know, Black History Month is coming up, so I'm going to be doing some African print. That's what I got an order for. Um, and I'm also going to be using um, some foam. Um, you don't need the foam. This is optional, but um, I like adding it onto the earrings, and you'll see how. I don't think I'm going to show you guys every pair that I make, <laughs> just so this video isn't super long. I think I'll do just like one small one, one big one, just to give you you know kind of an idea of how it's going to turn out and how to do it so i will see you guys soon bye guys so to start i'm just um using the buttons to make an indentation as you can see on the foam um, that makes it easy for me to cut out and to know the exact size that i need um I do cut these just a little bit um, smaller than the indentation just to let you know and give you guys a heads up. But like I said, you don't have to do this part. This part is optional. Um, but I will show you what I do with the foam um, later in the video. But again, this part is optional. The earrings are fine um, as they are. This is just, I guess this is just personal um, preference a pet peeve so that's why I use foam okay and then right here as you can see I've done cut down of the fabric and I'm placing it inside of um, I don't know what these things are called but they come with your button kits so You'll get them. It helps the fabric to. It helps you to put the fabric inside of the button so much better, and uh, it makes it so easy. So you're going to put the back on, and then you're just going to put a lot of pressure to make sure that the uh, back is applied. Sometimes you can just push it with your uh, fingers, but if not, like I said, this stuff comes with um, your button kits. And I'm gonna be honest, you guys. I haven't done buttons in a long time. So when I was doing these buttons, I forgot to really pay attention to um, the fabric face. Like what is going to be on the fabric. I was just cutting fabric and was like, I don't care. Whatever. You know, not really thinking necessarily about what is actually going to show up when I put this fabric into this piece. Like the center. So just be mindful of that because that was an element that I just, I completely forgot about.
And as you can see, that was too much blue, so I had to cut another piece of fabric. But you guys, I thought these earrings turned out beautiful. I do got to get me some just some regular like flower prints or something. Cause I think flower prints would be cute too. Might have to go to Dollar Tree. And I think these big ones, I think these turned out to be my favorite ones. Yeah, these these were my favorite ones. And I actually did do me some um some glasses out of this fabric. So they match my glasses like perfect. And I did me a um a spiral lock out of this fabric too so y'all only thing i was missing was some earrings and bam here they go all right now this is the easy part we are pretty much almost done now we're just going to take our glue and um Add the little stud post onto it. Now, for the smaller earrings, um, you will see in the video that I just add the post to the middle. But for the bigger earrings, um, I added the post closer to the top of the earring. Because you got to think, um, because it's a bigger earring, a bigger size earring, you got to think about the way that it's going to hang on your ear like what position where do you want it at so for the bigger ones you'll see me add it um more towards uh the top compared to in the middle on these small ones Yeah, but you guys, let me know which one is your favorite. Like I said, I think those um, comic book ones definitely are one of my favorites. And then I am going to be showing you um, just in a second what I do with the foam right here. So as you can see, there's like a dip. Um into the earring as you see like it's just I don't know I just I don't like that <laughs> so uh, I just go ahead and for the small ones I poke a hole directly in the middle because that's where the um you know the earring post is that way I can just slide it on easy and then for the bigger ones because it's at the top as you see I just laid it on top to get the position of the earring post um, and to me, this also adds a little bit of security um, for that earring post as well because you're gluing something down on top of it. So you are like securing that post on there because I've had time where the post done came off, y'all. Like, what the heck? These 6,000, you supposed to be some good glue. But um, as you see, they fit perfectly down inside of there. Like, no problem. And you don't even have to really be perfect with it you know like the foam just it just fits so perfect so beautifully yeah so this this helps me feel a little bit better about in case that stud post want to fall off like it's going to take some time for that to fall off And then you see, even the big ones, like, they just fit. They fit perfect. Like, perfect. But this is it. After you do this, I mean, you pretty much, you pretty much done. Because you done super glued the foam on there. It gives it time, you know, for the E6000 to dry. But, yeah, y'all, we done. So, we just taking some earring backs right now. We taking some earring cards. And we putting these things on. These, this is done. Like, we're done. Now, I did try some other material 
I did try some faux leather and some felt. And you guys, it came out beautiful. I'll let you know which ones those are when they come up. When I add them to um, the earring card. But the faux leather ones, oh my gosh, those things was bomb. I should have did a big pair. But hey, we're here now. Yeah, I like the pink ones, too. I think the pink ones really came out super cute. I was trying to see what light would be better because that pink is more like a hot pink. Like, it's not even that light color pink. It's a hot pink. But, hey... Right here, I'm trying to figure out what other pair I want to match up with that one. So I ended up adding some extra holes because as you can see the earrings was not fitting so I had to add some extra hole punches giving some extra space but hey we got it together they on there that's all that matters I'm trying to hurry up so we can get to these uh faux leather Okay, here we go. The next ones are going to be the faux leather. You guys, they turned out beautiful. Look at that. Those are the uh, leather ones right there. As you can see, they are shining. They are, like, just beautiful. And then the ones on the bottom, because they're felt, they're, like, really soft to the touch. But look at them. I love them. Let me know which one is your favorite. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to ask. And I will see you guys very soon. Bye.